Howdy, and welcome to Mr. C's lesson on place value. All right, today we're going to see what these different place values are worth or what big numbers are worth uh, according to their different place values. Okay, so go ahead, ask it. You always ask it. Bring it on. Mr. C, what's the big deal about place value? Well, place value is important for a couple reasons. You want to read numbers? You got to know place value. Okay, uh, you ever seen... A giant number maybe has like 10 or 12 digits and you go, I don't even know how to start reading that number. You know, well, if you know the different names for different place values, that will help. Not only will it help, it really gives you the answer. Uh, understanding place value really helps with mental math. So when you look at a problem, if you understand place value, a lot of times you can start to realize what the answer might be if you have an understanding or a good grasp of place value, okay? Uh, and then, of course, place value is everywhere in math. So anywhere there's a number, there's place value. Even if it's a single digit, it has a place value, okay? So knowing the names of these different place values is gonna help a lot. I especially wanna cue you in on that, on that whole mental math idea. So you like getting answers really quick? Understanding place value helps with that a lot, okay? It makes you fast and accurate, uh, and, and, it, and it really helps you to understand the question a lot of times if you know place value. Okay, so let's get right into it. We're going to label our place values to the billions, okay? We're only going to go to the one billions place. So let's take a look at this number. Whoa! That's a giant number. Okay, I can read this number. If you can't, don't worry. We're going to talk about reading numbers in the next lesson. But for right now, just listen to me read it. 3,407,832,655. Okay, let's start. And when I, we start with place value, I always start on the right-hand side. But Mr. C, when we read, we start over here on the left-hand side. Yeah, but remember, when you're reading numbers and a lot of times in math, it's the opposite of when you're reading words or reading letters. A lot of times in math, you're going to start on the right side, just like right now. So this 5, okay, if it were sitting here all alone, if it were the only number here, this 5 would be, and it still is, in the 1's place. Okay, okay so this 5 is in the 1's place. The first place value that we ever look to or that we uh, uh, need to understand is the ones place. The next is the tens place. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Imagine that the only numbers here with this 55, right? We have five tens, that equals 50, and five ones, that equals five. Imagine you had money. You had five $10 bills and five $1 bills. How much money would you have? $55. Oh, does it help to think about it in terms of money? Okay, well, imagine we had $600 bills. Ooh, this is starting to materialize here. So we have ones, whoops, don't run out of room. Ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place. Say it with me. The ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place. Were you shy? Did you say it? Well, you should have. All right, I'm gonna switch colors. Let's go to the next one. Well, what place value does this one hold? It's in the thousands place. Okay, thousand. Okay, the thousands place. Now here's where a pattern starts to arise. Or we start to see a pattern. So you've got the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and then the thousands. And then we have the 10,000s. I'm going to write the word 10 up here and then write thousands downwards so we don't run out of room. 10,000. Ooh, look. So we've got one. And then right after the comma, we have 1,000. Next to the one's the 10. Next to the 1,000 is the 10,000. So what do you think this place value is going to be named? Did you say 100,000? You did, you're right. I'm just gonna write the number 100 and then the word thousand, again, so we don't run out of room. 
Ooh, look at that pattern. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand. All right, now here's a new name or a new word we haven't really dealt with yet. This place, right after the second comma, remember, if we're reading from right to left, the first comma, we, we, we have the thousands place right next to it. And after the second comma, we have the millions place. M-I-L-L-I-O-N. Okay, now back to the pattern. After millions is 10 million. Woohoo! Are you getting it? Are you seeing the pattern? If you're not, maybe call your teacher over and ask. Be like, what's, the, you know, explain this pattern to me a little bit. Because it's there. Okay, so millions, 10 millions, what's next? Well, if we keep following our pattern, 100 million. Woohoo! Whoa, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and then our new word or our new number over here is going to be, if you know it, shout it out, billions. Whoa. Billions. And then take a guess what the next, if there was a number here, what place value would that have? 10 billions, right? And then 100 billions. And then you'll learn the bigger numbers later. Cool? Now, if this was at all confusing to you, I'm going to show you a graphic that you can actually fill out if you're getting a little confused about place value. Okay, I'm going to erase this right now. Let's take a look at this next slide. All right? This is a tool where if you're ever confused about place value, you can open up this video, check out this tool. It's a big chart. It's a place value chart. And look, all it is, is it has, oops, let me pull up my little pen. It has all the things that we just did, but it actually goes beyond the billions to the 10 billions and the 100 billions. And maybe this is a little easier to see, okay? And look, you can fill it out. So if you had the number 5,402, you could fill it out right in this little chart. Look, 5,402. <gasps> Two doesn't go in the tens place. Two goes in the ones place. So what do we have in the tens place? A zero. 5,402, okay? Um, maybe try to plug some numbers in here. Ask your little brother, be like, hey, give me the biggest number you can think of. And then see if you can put it into this place value chart. All right, sounds good. Now, I know it's kind of tough, but you're gonna have to memorize these names and the order that they come in. If you remember the pattern, okay? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred. And then millions, tens, hundreds, billions, tens, hundreds. It's going to help you to memorize, okay? So let's just rehash really quick. <sighs> what did we learn today? Well, we learned a couple things. We learned place values out to the billions. And I think you can probably go beyond that at this point. Uh, we also learned that place value helps us to read numbers, which is going to be important when we move forward. The next lesson, we're actually going to start reading these numbers and then even writing them. Okay, so if you know your place value, that's going to get a lot easier. All right, let's try it. All right, I want you to do this. Whoa! I know, it looks like a lot of steps, but it's not that hard. Remember, you can back it up and use that chart if you want to. Okay, you're going to write the number five in the hundreds place, the number three in the ten thousands place. I kind of scrambled all these up. Okay, you're going to write a big number, and you're going to plug all these little numbers into those different place values to make one giant number. Okay, see if you can back it up, look at that chart that I gave you, that tool, and plug these numbers into the different place values. Okay, it's going to give you some practice uh, knowing where they are. All right, I hope this helped. Get ready to start reading big numbers. Okay.